Hey everyone, it's Cher here. Today I wanted to show you a quick video of how I make my homemade ice cream. Um, I, a little while ago I had put up a video about showing you all the seven things that I wouldn't want to live without. I don't know if any, many of you have seen that video, but one of the things that I love is my KitchenAid mixer. And to go along with my KitchenAid mixer, uh, when I purchased it, I also got a ice cream maker. So it's this big bowl that I keep in the freezer and it's ready to go whenever I want to make homemade fresh ice cream, which is what I'm going to be doing today because tomorrow I'm going to be celebrating with my daughter. She's turning 13. We're having uh, some family come over for cake and ice cream uh, later tomorrow evening. So I wanted to get this made today so that it'll be firm enough for what we want to use it for tomorrow. So I'm just going to show you how simple and easy this is to put together. And um, the great thing about making your own ice cream is in it, you know exactly what's in it. There's no preservatives, there's no artificial colors or flavorings or anything like that. You know, when you go to the grocery store and you look at, start looking at the ingredient list of some of these ice creams that are out there, it's kind of scary. There's like so many and things you can't even pronounce and you don't even know what it is. So at least when you're making it yourself, you know that it's, it's somewhat healthy. <laughs> as healthy as ice cream can be. Anyways, so here we go. I'm going to show you the process and I will show you uh, the ingredients that you're going to need to make your own homemade ice cream. Okay, so the things that you're gonna need in order to make the ice cream is you're gonna need some kind of a bowl or I like to use this big glass mixing bowl. It actually holds up to four cups, which is more than enough room. You're going to need three quarters of a cup of sugar. You're gonna need a pinch of salt. You're gonna need a teaspoon of a very good uh, vanilla, and I love this stuff. We got this from Mexico on a trip that when we took there. Their, their, the Mexican vanilla is so yummy. You're going to need two cups of whipping cream and one cup of milk of your choice. Now, I like to keep the fat content up fairly high because it just makes for creamier ice cream. You could do three cups of whipping, all whipping cream if you wanted to, or you could use skim milk, you can use half and half, you can use homo milk, you can use whatever you like. Like for what I said, I'm just going to be using some 2% today. And then you're also going to need a whisk of some sort just to make sure you can get the sugar and everything all combined. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about <laughs> the milk because today I, I discovered something. I'm pretty sure that it's a new discovery because when I went to go put this in the fridge, You'll notice here, this is a Dairyland brand, and I'm not sure if it's just for Dairyland that's doing this now or how long this has been happening, but I'm pretty sure the last time I made ice cream, these size containers, these little guys, used to hold 500 milligrams, or milliliters, sorry. Um, and now they're only putting 473 mils in here, I notice. Can you believe that? They are totally ripping us off by almost 25 mils here. Then I looked at the other carton. Same thing on this one. This used to hold a cup of milk, so 250 mils. You'll notice here now, there is only 237 in here. I was like, are you kidding me? So what I'm gonna do, um, because this isn't gonna add up to three cups, is I'm gonna be short probably close to 50 mil, mils. I'm gonna have to top it up with, I just all I have at home right now is just some skim milk. So I'll just top it up to the three, three cup measure <laughs> line. But I thought, boy, sneaky, like I was not impressed with that. Okay, so here we go. So what you're gonna do, I'm like I said, I'm gonna start with my cream and my milk because I wanna make sure this is gonna add up to three cups. So here we go. Make sure you get it all in there because we sure don't wanna waste any since they're already dripping us. <laughs> Gee whiz. And then I've got my 2% here. So. Now they're going to add this. Yeah, so I'm a little short. So I'm just going to top this up with a little bit of skim milk here now. Just till I get to three cups. There we go. That's about right. Now the next thing you want to add is your teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just going to use the cap here. It doesn't have to be that precise. This Mexican vanilla is actually quite strong anyway, so a little dab will do ya. And then I'm going to put my three quarters of a cup of sugar right in here. And that's basically all that's in it, except for now I'm just going to put a little pinch of salt like that, maybe one more little pinch. And that's it. And I'm going to mix this up really well. 
I want to combine this as good as I can because I want to get the salt and the sugar and everything to dissolve in here. And what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to put it in the fridge because I want this to really chill really well. So at least for at least a half an hour, um, even an hour if you had the time to do that, that would even be better. So yeah, I'm just going to whisk this around really, really well. And at this point, you could even taste it if you wanted to, just to check to make sure it's sweet enough for you. You can vary the amount of sugar that you put in here. Like I said, you can vary the amount of fat that goes in here with whatever kind of you know, milk or whatever you want to use. You could even use half of the half, like whipping cream if you wanted to uh, and fill the rest up with milk. It just, it just makes the consistency um, of your ice cream a little different, that's all. It's just not as creamy and as rich when you don't use as much fat. But there you go, that's how easy it is. So this is pretty much ready. I'm gonna go put this in the fridge, like I said, and let it chill for at least a half an hour. And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you how to make the actual ice cream in the KitchenAid ice cream maker. So our mixture has been chilling in the fridge for about an hour now. I'm gonna just give this a bit of a stir just to make sure the sugar and everything is well incorporated and there's no just left over anything here. We'll just make sure it's really well stirred in there. So that's nice and cold. Now the next thing I wanna show you, so I've got my handy dandy mixer here, my beautiful green, lime green mixer. I love this thing. This is like my one of my babies. I love this thing. So I just went downstairs and I just pulled the actual ice cream bowl out of the freezer. I always keep this in the freezer. I keep it in a little garbage bag and I tie it up so that nothing can get in there so it stays nice and clean. It's super, super cold. You can see that it's, it's, it's frozen. It's really, really cold and that's what you want. So I'm just gonna put that aside. Now there's two parts to this. Uh, when you get your ice cream maker, it comes with this piece here that actually fits right onto the gear mechanism here on your KitchenAid. So it can only go on here one way and I believe it goes this way, yep. There's like two little magnets here that hold this piece in place. And then what you also do is you just put this paddle that go comes with it as well. And this goes right inside your ice cream bowl. And then you just lock this into place. And when you put this down, the little gears here and here are going to fit together and that's what's gonna move your little um, paddle around. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line this up. There we go. Now I'm gonna start turning this on just on low. It's gonna be probably a little bit noisy here, but um, you wanna get this going before you actually start pouring your mixture in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on low. There we go, hopefully you can still hear me. So now we're gonna just gently pour our mixture in here. There we go. And that's as fast as you want this thing to go. I've just got it on the very first setting and I'm just slowly pouring my ice cream mixture in. So this is gonna take probably anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes. The paddle's just gonna keep turning and turning here. And over time, we're going, it's gonna thicken up. And we're gonna have awesome, yummy, homemade vanilla ice cream. So there we go. So I'm gonna just let this do its thing here for like I said, about 15 to 20 minutes. And when I come back, I will show you the final product. All right, so our ice cream has been churning away here for about 15 to 17, 18 minutes or so, something like that now. I haven't really been watching the clock all that well. I just know kind of when it's done by it starting to really come up to the, on the sides of the uh, mixer and it looks quite thick. So I'm actually gonna stop this and we're just gonna give it a test and see how close we are. Oh yeah, it's ready, it's totally ready. So now this is the stage, if you didn't wanna just leave it as vanilla ice cream, which is what I'm planning on doing with it, this is the stage where if you wanted to add, you know, pieces of fruit or nuts or maybe crushed up Oreo cookie or anything like that, this is the stage where you would do it. You would put it in now and just let it mix around for a few seconds because if you put it in there too early, it just, it wouldn't mix properly. It would probably, especially if you put fruit and stuff in there, it would just chop it all up and it, it would be kind of a yucky mess. So you just do that at the very, very, very last, um, that would be the last thing you would do. So now I'm going to just take this apart. So we just have to lift it up. And I'm gonna take this off so it doesn't fall off in there. And then you just lift the paddle up. I'm not gonna go through this whole process with you, but then I just take my spatula and I push all the ice cream down into the, the bucket here. And then I just put it into a container, which I'm gonna show you once I get this. This part isn't pretty. <laughs> and Megan loves this part because after I get what I can scrape off of here, she gets to lick it all off. So yeah, she loves this stage. So I will see you in a minute here once I get it all into the container and I'll show you what it looks like. 
All right, so I've gotten all my ice cream out of my bowl here. Um, I just wanted to share a quick little tip. The instructions that come with this thing say that you should let this come to room temperature before you attempt to clean it, which makes a lot of sense because this bowl is still really, it's frozen, it's still really, really cold. So it makes sense if you were to put hot water in here, it might crack something or wreck something. So I just let it, just let it come to room temperature. I've got all my ice cream into this little container here now. I'm gonna just uh, level this off put it into the deep freeze. It's really soft right now, which sometimes we like to eat it just like this. And we, I've done that before where I've had people over for dinner. We've had like an app, hot apple crisp straight out of the oven. And then I'll make this right here while our guests are here. And then we've got this yummy soft ice cream to put on whatever kind of dessert we want to eat. But it's just that easy. So I hope this has been helpful to you guys. If you're actually thinking about maybe purchasing one of these, like it's just so easy and it's like, it's just so yummy. The ice cream that comes out of this thing is, and it's just exactly, you know, what went into it, which is the other thing, which is really cool. So there you have it. Homemade, yummy ice cream. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye for now.